Topping our news this half hour, a story that came into our tip line. A Western New York man stuck at an airport in Florida for 18 hours and getting the runaround from his airline. Jeff G went to Punta Cana on vacation with his girlfriend. They were supposed to connect in Fort Lauderdale Saturday to fly back to Buffalo Niagara International Airport on a JetBlue flight, but it was delayed, then canceled. They've been stuck in Florida ever since. 18 hours at the airport without access to the food court and no resolution from customer service, either in person, on the phone, or via text chat. So around 4 a.m., we had no options but to obviously you know, lay down and try to sleep at the airport. Um, I woke up with bugs crawling on me. Additionally, there was a very small amount of travel size snacks and like two ounce water bottles that they left in the middle of the airport, which nobody could leave the line to get. They didn't make announcements that they were giving out water or anything. Um, by the time my girlfriend and I were able, you know, to get to that water and snacks because we were waiting the line for so long, there was no food or water available. Jeff is hoping to get on a flight home tonight. Across the country over the weekend, NBC News reports airlines canceled more than 3,500 flights with major problems at Florida airports. A spokesperson for the NFTA told me the airline delays did not have significant impact on the Buffalo airport and only a few flights were delayed. I contacted JetBlue Corporate Communications this morning to see what they're doing to help people like Jeff, and I didn't hear back by my deadline. At the Buffalo Niagara International Airport, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.